Hey Bulldog fans, welcome into this week's edition of the Sanford Sports Wrap-Up presented by Alabama Power. I'm John McAfee, joined again today by Bucky McMillan, Sanford men's basketball head coach. Bucky, I know a very congested part of the schedule right now, a lot of games in a short amount of time, but I appreciate you making some time and swinging by. No doubt, glad to be here. Well, last time we had you on was before SOCOM play began, so a lot's happened since then, and I, I know right now you're not overly concerned about the wins and the losses, but more about the effort of the team, the level of competitiveness. What have you seen through these first couple of weeks of conference play? Our guys are playing hard. We've been in every game until the game last night. You know, we had, had we were there at halftime, a tight game in Greensboro, who many picked to win the league, ran away with in the second half. And um, but for the most part, you know, we, we we started off with VMI in the conference, and and we jumped out out on them and, and won that game going away. And you know, VMI is, is this year has been a pretty dang good team. You know, almost beat Virginia Tech and did some other things. Went to Watford and battled those guys to the end, who who've been a good team. They're doing well in the league. We were a one-point game there late at chat. We just couldn't pull it out at chat. It's just hard to get some of these road wins, as we know. But um, we came back and played Greensboro last night. You know, had some unfortunate circumstances with Myron getting hurt early in the second half. And, um, you know, he's, he's going to miss a couple weeks here, hopefully, you know, and, and he can rehab that thing and get it back. But, um, you know, I'm proud of how we're competing. We're, we're heading in the right direction, as I've said. We've only had one practice where our whole team's practiced together, which is unique. And so we got to keep using these as practice and keep building and getting better and better and better and building the culture um, and thinking long term because, you know, as we know, basketball is an end of the season sport. If we can keep improving by the end of the year, you know, it's not like I see a team that we line up. I'm like, you know what, if, if we play our A-plus game, we can't be right there with them. That, that's for sure. And when you're looking at a team who's had very little time together on the floor with everyone together, there's still a big mark for improvement. But the guys have responded well in practice. They are given max effort, and you know we're going to keep heading in the right direction. I feel pretty good that we're going to keep heading in the right direction. Yeah, as you just mentioned, the team was out practicing right before this interview. You mentioned that they responded pretty well. How do you expect them to respond tomorrow in a game situation? Well, you know, like, like I said, we'll be a little short-handed, and um, that just means it's an opportunity for someone to step up. Now, Myron's is our you know our leading scorer, one of the top scorers in the conference, and obviously a great talent. And so, you know, they got to play for, you know, I tell these guys every day, you know, you never know when it can be your last game, whether it's COVID or an injury or you, you just never know. So, you know, I know Myron loved to be out there with us. And so I tell those guys, you know, let, let's, let's play this for Myron, you know, because you know, he loved to be out there and let's play with that heart and let's play with that effort because you don't know when it's your last time. And so if, if we take on that mindset and, and, and don't take one play for granted, then I think that you're going to see us respond pretty well. Now, does that, what does that mean on the scoreboard? You know, could that mean we could win the game? Absolutely. Could that mean that we don't win the game? Yeah, that can happen. But the key is we got to focus on the things that we can control, which is making unselfish plays and playing as hard as we can every possession. And I think when we started this, when we got here and started practicing in August, I think that was probably going on about 10% of the time, just being honest with you. I think we're up to about 90% of the time in terms of the effort, about 50% of the time in terms of making the right decision every play. And so, you can look at that one or two ways. Hey, we've been in every game. We've almost beat SEC schools. We beat Belmont their only loss. We've, we've had some uh, good wins and some really close losses, and we still got a big room to improve. And so that's how I look at that, that, hey, there's a big margin to improve, and we're still right there. Um, now, doing it without Myron, it means some people are going to really have to step it up, and um, I think they can. Um, we just got to come here and be focused to do that. Well, tomorrow's game again is against UNCG. Talk about some of the challenges of seeing the same team two times in a three-day window. Well, you know, first, what a great, great team they are and a great program they have. Uh, I thought they played really well in our game. You know, they, they made shots, they defended well, and, um, you know, got a good culture. And that's one thing about the league is, you know, you got to build that culture to be that winning culture. And, you know, Greensboro wasn't built overnight. Furman wasn't built overnight. At one time, you know, they, they weren't at the top of the league, you know. You see Greensboro, and, and I think that they're – they're a challenge because they got great players. They play great defense, you know, and they don't give you anything easy. Yeah, that's for sure. But um, you know, one or two shots here or there can change the course of the game. So even though it's the same opponent, I'm glad it's it's basketball that you get we get that opportunity. Sometimes you know when you when you don't come out on top, you don't get an opportunity to see how much you've improved. And you know, here under the circumstance of COVID, we get to play the same team, you know, two or, two or three days. So it'll be fun to see if we've improved on the weaknesses we did in the first, we had in the first game. Yeah, and because of COVID, the, the schedule is so congested right now. You guys lost a couple games, and now last night kicked off a five-game stretch in 10 days. That's a lot of basketball in a week and a half. How does that affect the way you uh, prepare and practice? Hey, well, it's interesting because, you know, you, you, you are, you know, you're going to be leg weary at times. 
you know, and, um, you know, it, it's strange because with our team, we've been so injury prone this season. So, you know, you, you, the thing that you can say is this, because we have had so many guys out that everyone has had opportunities to play. And so when you go through this stretch of, of five games in 10 days, you're gonna have to play a lot of bodies. And by design or not by design, most of these bodies have been in the game because of people being out with injury or people being sick or what or whatnot. So our guys should be have enough experience that it's not uncomfortable for them. But you got to play a lot of bodies, you know, particularly the way we play. When you're gonna play five games in ten days, everybody has to come in there and give you it's just a minute, make it the best minute you've ever played. And so, um, you know, I know that some of these guys are looking forward to that challenge. Bucky, appreciate your time. Looking forward to tomorrow. No doubt. Thank you. Stanford back in action here at the Pete Hanna Center, 2 p.m. tip against UNCG. That's Bucky McMillan. I'm John McAfee, subtly for this edition of the Sanford Sports Wrap-Up, presented by Alabama Power.